As an institute that believes in holistic development, young innovators from CST have always been a beacon of positive change for a community at small and the country at large. While we progress into the age of automation and machinery, we hope to be able to create and explore inventive solutions which aid a nation that envisions a healthy planet. We pledge to contribute in our own small ways to help tackle the issue of climate change with the use of relevant technology as the frontiers of a revolution. Back in 2019, three electrical engineering students developed a solar power vehicle popularly known as the Tuk Tuk. And as the name suggests, the vehicle runs on solar energy and is capable of transporting materials without the emission of any exhaust such as hydrocarbons, carbon monoxides and other gases which affect the atmosphere. Within campus, the Tuk Tuk is used to transport heavy materials for maintenance and has been reducing the carbon footprint ever since it has been first put to use. Simply to the use of solar radiation without any gas, fire or LPG, this solar cooker is capable of letting us have a hearty meal. Developed by the students belonging in the Masters of Renewable Energy, the outside part is made out of plywood and the interior is made of aluminum foil covered by glass and the inside is insulated using sawdust. Then we should take care that this box is facing towards the south to gain optimum sunlight in order to convert this sunlight, sun energy into heat energy to help us in cooking. For a practical demonstration, we will be cooking um, two eggs which will be ready about 10 to 15 minutes later. After 20 minutes, we have now the fully cooked egg. A group of final year students established the solar water heater. This project involves the heating of water for about 24 hours using solar energy until it can be used for culinary purposes. Back then, if there was a power shortage, the cooks would make use of LPG gases. However, after the installment of the project, the cooks no longer use LPG, hence reducing the use of unwanted gases. The organic waste produced from our kitchen and from our polished mess can be used to fuel the biogas plant behind me. This is actually self-sustainable because we are able to use our own fuel for our stoves while reducing the LPG fuel consumption. In conclusion, using of biogas is actually using green gas. The Rovers of CST initiates the segregation of waste every Saturday and is later sold, turning trash into cash. And these sold materials will be later recycled in making them into new materials, hence reducing the global gas house emission which would have been emitted due to the extraction of raw materials. The on-site wastewater treatment consists of two anaerobic bioreactor tanks, the UASB and the ABF located in the shed below the staff residence. The water coming from the kitchen and from the bathroom is discharged into surface drain and is taken to a 500 liter tank nearby. Here there are waste plastic bottle flakes which act as biofilters, producing a quality effluent which meets the standard of 3 to 4 effluent discharge units of Bhutan. This is much more effective as compared to that of a septic tank because septic tank produces poorly treated effluents which has effect on the environment. This project also reduces the financial burden on the government. The only microgrid laboratory of our college is made possible due to the power of the sun. The solar panels over here make use of solar energy to run the entire CST library. The act of using renewable energy to go against climate change is made possible by the electrical department. Technology in pursuit of mitigating climate change.